Okay, in this part of the exercise now, we're going to be joining two shape files together. And what does that mean? Is that means we're going to be bringing these attribute tables from senses and attribute tables from USGS and relating them together in order to have one attribute table that has all the values of either one. So we have to choose two columns in these attribute tables to, to make the join, uh, the join together based off of. So we have place name here and we have name here and those two attributes correspond with each other. So we can go ahead and close these attribute tables and then in order to do a join you have the option under the contextual menu by right clicking the shape file. So if I right click the shape file I see the, con the contextual menu and then I have this option here for joining. So joins and relates and we're going to choose join. When I choose join now, I have the options here to set up which columns I wanted to do. So from earlier, we said that we want to do place name and name. So if I go here, I can choose name and then here place name. And then that's going to let us choose those columns saying those are the two that are that the computer's going to look for the same thing and match them. Um, I want to only keep matching records because USGS had more places than the census. So this way we only get the ones that are that are the same. So if I say OK, those two attribute tables will be joined together. So now if I looked at the attribute table by opening attribute tables, oh, I keep on getting this weird error message, could not load data. When I hit OK, it just shows a blank. But one workaround for that is just to go ahead and export out your data. So I'm, it's one step that we're going to do anyway, so we might as well do it. Um, click data on the right click menu and export data when I export it out I'm going to choose this now as uh, Texas combo and that's going to be the combination of both of our data sets and I'm going to hit OK after it exports it's going to ask me do I want to add the map layer I'm just going to say yes and whenever I open the attribute table now I'll be able to actually see what's going on and I'm not sure why this is going on but uh, it, it works, so we got to this point, and this is the point that we want to get to. Anyways, I wanted to export out the data anyways, no matter what, in order to 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 have a, a, a actual shape file to do computations on. So if I look here now, I have a combination of both of my attribute tables into one t shape file, Texas Combo. The thing is, Texas Combo now is looking at the the census dots. Those are the dots that are showing up for Texas Congo combo so later on we're gonna have to work with this in order to get to, in order to make a, a nice a nice uh, presentation about how the centroids are different so in the next uh, video we'll look at how to do field calculator so this is how you join um, we're just gonna do a quick summary right now what you want to do is right click on one of your layers choose join and relate join you get this option here you choose the field names that you want to join it by and that's what your attribute tables are going to be looking at and then also you want to maybe say keep only matching records whenever you say OK that is going to combine the data sets what I did in this one is that I ended up exporting out my data by right clicking and saying export data in order to be able to have a standalone shape file that has the attribute tables together